Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. How you guys doing? Doing good. Doing great, Aaron. Aaron, let me stop into the power right there. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that, those are the guys up there. We're going to get influence. Well, listen, yeah. we had Rustin and Shifflin on the, uh, on the on the show just before you all came in and played uh, the last time you were at Chills. And, I, you know, I asked Rustin on the air, I said, Rustin, give me, describe what we're going to hear tonight. How, how would you define their music? And he told me, he said, I'll tell you what, best thing to do is you hear them and then you tell me. And I, and I can understand that because, you know, and, and, and still it's been over a month or so, and I still can't put a finger on how to describe what you guys do. And uh, I guess if you go to your website and uh, it's kind of like... They had a name. Well, listen. Yeah, they had a name for it. But you've got, you've got a mixture that sounds like The Doors. you got Merle Haggard. you got Leon Russell. And <laughs> it's unbelievable. And uh, but, but you guys are back tonight. Tell us about the band. What's been going on with you guys? Man, we've been real busy. We're, uh, we're excited to be back down there playing. Uh, we had a great time last time, of course. And uh, I do appreciate all the kind words. But uh, we've just been staying real busy, playing a bunch, writing new tunes, and uh, just kind of dialing our game in a little bit better all the time. So uh, everything is on the up and up for the law. It's great. I know when I was sitting there listening to you guys, and I was talking in, uh, to um, Coy Bowles' dad. He was there uh, that night, and um, I looked at him. I said, you know, I, I can I can hear Pink Floyd these guys and oh, okay. uh, and listen and lo and behold wow. <laughs> lo and behold I think it was your last set I'm sitting there and I promise you if, if, I, if I'd shut my eyes uh -huh. and just listened you would have thought you were listening to Pink Floyd because you guys played a track of Dark Side of the Moon if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah we played the last two songs Brain Damage and the Clips that's uh, 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 one we've been Pink throwing Lord. in there from time to time to to kind of throw people off their game a little bit mm -hmm. you know you come in with some country country tunes and then a little bit of Pink Floyd, you throw in there, really, it really throws people for a loop, <laughs> you know. But uh, we're we're a fan of every one of those people that you just mentioned right there. So maybe that's why all that stuff comes through, and a lot more. Everybody in our band is totally different and uh, has a whole different set of influences and musical backgrounds and bands they played with, and probably stuff they have in their CD player right now. So I think that's kind of what makes it. Uh, Hopefully, uh, you know, undefinable, but in a, in a good way, you know. You know, my, my son actually turned me on to a group called White Spray Panic once upon a time, and yeah. uh, and I kind of liken you guys to them because of, of the way the, the the music, the way it progresses from from one song to another. Not that you're a jam band, but you could be, but just the way your music progresses in and out from one song to the next is unbelievable. Hey, well, that's great. That's a good. That's a huge compliment, and uh, it's a certainly a lot of intention put behind our, our album and uh, I told a few people that it was a very self-indulgent venture because we, we recorded it at home uh, mixed it ourselves and it's just you know with friends that we've met we just kind of brought them in and said hey what, how does this song make you feel or how does this part make you feel you play what, you, what you're what you hearing what you feel so it was a very organic process from the get go and kind of it was just made to give our friends you know just hey here's Here's a CD we made, listen to it, and the response we've had from, I mean, all over the place has just been uh, kind of mind-boggling, at least to me, but uh, in, a, in a very, very, very good way. We're very, very grateful. So, Aaron, what are your um, plans for the future as far as um, with, with your band and everything, as far as touring and um, uh, cutting, a, cutting a new CD? We're uh, getting all of our logistics in place getting our uh, infrastructure dialed in right now to start doing some southeast touring. Uh, we've been playing all over Georgia. Um, most of our members live in Atlanta or around Atlanta, and a few of us live out a little south of Athens. So we've been playing up in Athens, getting just great response from people and people coming back the next gig with their friends and telling their friends. And, and in, in all that happening, we, we have four songwriters in our in our uh, group, we're full of lyricist writers, I should say. <laughs> Everybody's constantly writing music. Even our drummers are like uh -huh. a better guitar player than I am. So that being said, we got 30 songs in the shoot right now that we're demoing out. Just oh, wow. Kind of, kind of going through them. And, I mean, we just released this album in uh, December, and we already ready to put out two more. Yeah, that's and what we're really saying. Yeah. We could go ahead and record them right now. Yep, you've got enough for two more, so... Fun 101, making more in with uh, Aaron Hill of the uh, group The Law playing tonight at Chills Hot Wings Bar and Grill in Thomaston Highway, 19 North. Now, Aaron, uh, 
I, I think you can best define the personality of you guys by Chandler McGee, your lead vocalist. Or, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's your lead vocalist, but the guy that does most of your, your lead vocals. Yep, yep. Chandler and I have been friends for a long time, and basically this band started, I was living in uh, Breckenridge, Colorado for a while, being a ski bomb and playing music there, and just, and Chandler would come through on his way, he, he's from North Carolina, and he was living in Los Angeles at the time, so he would come through back and forth on trips from time to time, and, and we would just get together and write a song, write, you know, write a little something, just kind of joking around, just to pass the time and stay out of trouble and uh, as it kind of progressed you know like Crazy Lonesome was one of those ones we wrote and we just before we knew it we had 20 songs right there in our, in our lap and we thought well let's just go ahead and put these down on paper and see how it, see how it turns out and uh, we couldn't be more tickled with uh, with what we got you know first time I saw Chandler I was said uh, there's a LeVon Helm <laughs> of the band <laughs> The crazy, the crazy man right there. <laughs> Tell us about the yeah. rest of your band, other members of your group. Uh, we got uh, Chairman, of course, and uh, Nancy Kay is a background, a lovely background singer. She's been in the music business for a long time and released a lot of albums under the name Rosie. and been in tons of soundtracks, and uh, movie soundtracks, and television shows. and uh, So she already had a name for herself, and we met her in Los Angeles. And talked her into moving back, back to the East Coast, and uh, made, made some albums with her with the same band, just under the name Nancy K. That that's, and, uh, that says a lot that you can um, that somebody believes in you enough to to move. So, hey, you know, when, yeah. when you got it, you got it. No, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we did. That's what we did. But uh, yeah, I mean, we we're, were just you know, it's just a good chemistry between all of us, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Along the way, there's another guy that I picked up uh, to record. His name was uh, Hill Roberts, and he he's a, a bass player and, again, another amazing songwriter and has played around Atlanta forever and played with tons of different really, really awesome bands. And uh, so just a good friend, actually. My, my full name, what kind of drew me to him is kind of a weird synchronicity, but uh, my, my full name is Robert Aaron Hill. And his name is Hill Roberts. So <laughs> it's funny. We got a Robert Hill and a Hill Roberts right there standing on one side of the stage. And uh, our drummer is a guy that I played with mostly in heavier bands for years, Zach Smith. I've known him just through a lot of friends and uh, uh, just an amazing musician on all fronts, not just a drummer, and just an all-around good guy. And um, then we have another guy that I found out about his music, his name was Trapper's Cabin, and I found out about his music through a mutual friend. Now, now is, that his, is that his real name? That is his, that's, that's his hand, for at least. Uh, his name is Joel, but he, okay. is, he prefers Trapper. I so. got you, okay. But uh, I met him through a mutual friend, uh, found out about his music through a mutual friend, and literally held on to it and listened to it for a year just in utter disbelief before I found out where he worked. And then I called him and kind of stalked him down and said, hey, man. I want to join your band. <laughs> so I joined his band as a guitar player and then finally kind of roped him into the wall. And uh, that's kind of our core group of people. And we picked up a, a lead guitar player from friends up in Athens named Blake Benson that was playing with a band called The Breaks and still plays with a few other bands around Athens. And just he's a, he's a young kid, a, a hot dog. And, Boy can pick, I'll tell you what. Yes, so, sir. That, that's rounding everybody out right there. Well, I'm, I'm going to uh, lift this from your website when we talk about the CD that was released in December, Dust in the Ether. It says, a tribute to the cowboys, the pioneers, gunslingers, hillbillies, and wanderers who live free and write their own rules. There you go. That's why we have the wall, you know. It's, we're trying to write our own wall. Our own wall of the land, let's say, and... Uh, uh, you know, there's the outlaw movement and there's all this stuff. Well, that kind of insinuates that those guys are doing something wrong. And I'm, you know, it's hard for me to, to think Waylon Jennings did anything wrong. So yeah. <laughs> we just decided we'd take it back and just be the wall. And speaking of the website, let me go ahead and put that out there. Um, it's thelawband.com. Um, and on that um, website, for those of you listening who want to know more about the law, 
Uh, there's news, there's tour information, there's music, there's media, there's merchandise, um, and there's contact information. So um, there's everything that you need to know more about the law in addition to go and see them. It's a one-stop shop. That's, That's sure. right. Now, Aaron, as we're getting ready to wrap this thing up, uh, there's a connection with you guys in the Zach Brown band, right? Uh, there is. Uh, actually, lots. Uh, Chandler and Rustin work together on the road crew. Uh, so they put together the stage together every night when they're out there, play in front of these huge audiences. And uh, through all that connection, you know, we've met Coy, and, and Coy has gotten us gigs playing for the... Uh, for their festival shows, for their after party, for all the other bands. And it's it just been really, really great and given us a lot of support and definitely talked us up a ton out there in the world. So, I mean, we, we owe a lot to those guys and uh, uh, that, we consider them great friends. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. And uh, let me let me say this now. Chills Hot Wings Bar and Grill is a place tonight. The Law is the band. We're in with uh, band member Aaron Hill right there at Fun 101. And, uh, Aaron, I will tell you this, the crowd that you guys drew, probably one of the largest that's been in that establishment, and they are expecting likewise tonight. Found out there were a lot of people that were there and will be there probably tonight that have been following you guys from venue to venue because there were a lot of people, faces I saw in the crowd that I didn't know. And I found out uh, just talking to them, we follow these guys, and they're good. You're going to enjoy what you see tonight. I did, and so looking forward to it tonight. Now, we're going to go out with, um, with, with a particular track here. And I want you to tell me about what we're about to play and uh, if there's a, a story, a history behind the song. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Crazy Lonesome on right. the album Dust and Ether. And uh, that's just the song that Chandler McGee and I were out in Venice Beach, California. And uh, we're both broke as a joke. Without, I think I was supposed to be home three days before the song kind of found itself into the world. And uh, I didn't have money for a plane ticket or even anything to eat or anything, so uh, we just sat down with our, my guitar and with his vocals and ideas, and he said, man, I got this idea about this song, and I just kind of sat there for about 10 minutes, next thing you know, we got the song you're about to listen to, Crazy Lonesome. Crazy Lonesome coming up, Neil, and we'll be uh, playing it tonight, and uh, looking forward to it. Aaron, again, thanks for the time, we appreciate it so much, and continued success, and like, don't forget about us little guys when you... And you guys finally uh, make it because I think you're going to do it. Crystal and Nick, thank you guys so much. You're we so appreciate welcome. All the support down there, and uh, we look, look real forward to seeing y'all tonight. Y'all come out, and uh, we're going to have a heck of a time to play some real good music for y'all. We'll do it. Awesome. Aaron Hill, going out with this one, Fun 101, making the morning with our weekend warrior, Crystal Swagger. Here is the law. Shoot me, she drank it all in the shine.